So what does it mean to analyze the results of the formative assessment quiz from the book group video? So with any class that you give, you're going to give some sort of formative assessment um, frequently, daily, um, and from that, you're not going to just record it in the grade back. In fact, I would encourage you to say that formative assessment is for you, uh, not for the students, so you really should not be putting it in the grade book, although, of course, a lot of teachers do. Uh, so when you give a quiz, what would be the purpose of that, which should be to see where are the students at? I taught it. Did I teach it or did I pseudo teach it? Um, did the students get it? Did they learn it? Did everyone learn it or only some people? So it's real tempting to look at a class average and be like, well, you know, 80% of the class got it. Okay, what about the 20% who didn't? So instead of just going into the grade book, Johnny got a 5, Susie got a 7, Juan got an 8, um, and just typing it in, you need to look a little closer at the information. You're like, wow, like everybody got question number two right. Is that because you just did an awesome job of teaching that uh, particular concept? Or is it because the question was too easy? Um, and so you need to ask yourself that. You know, it's like, what did you do really well when you designed the learning environment, when you designed the lesson? And then what things need improvement? There's always something that needs improvement. Um, and you use the formative assessment to help you to identify that. So even if 80% got question number five right, like why did that 20% get it wrong? Is it because you didn't interest them and engage them in the learning process? Is it because they were sick? Is it because they were on a band trip? It, you know, um, was the way that you explained it, like the kids who took, like I used to teach algebra, and a lot of the kids took algebra in eighth grade. They didn't get a high enough grade, so they're taking algebra again. So I would expect you know, a good chunk of them to do well in just about anything, and it, it wasn't me. Someone else taught them that. So, you know, when I go and I look at the chunk that didn't get it, maybe those are my ones that didn't take the class before, or, you know, they, they did particularly poorly when they took it previously, so, you know, they just never learned it before. So, you know, yeah, the class did pretty well on that question, but that's because of prior knowledge. It wasn't because of my lesson. So my lesson needs to improve to address that particular learning concept because maybe I took it for granted that every, everyone knows how to add a, you know, do a one-step equation. Everyone knows how to do that. 20% doesn't. Should I just like, oh, it's only 20% or do I need to address that and how am I going to address that? What do I need to do now that I notice 20% doesn't know that? I'm going to make sure that 20% gets it. Then I notice on another question, oh my gosh, the class did really bad. Um, sometimes we're like, oh, those kids are so lazy, they didn't do their homework. Okay, maybe. Um, but then how can we just look back at your lesson? How could you have engaged the learners more? How could you have included their interests into um, into the learning process? You know. Uh, you, the kids are into skateboarding and used examples with unicorns and rainbows, and it just they just didn't care about your unicorns and rainbows, and so you're you just didn't. You, I mean, what can you do that addresses everybody? Nothing. Um, but you're always trying to pull more students into the learning process. So getting to know the students, figuring out what kinds of things might engage them better. How could your lesson be better for everyone? That's the trick. So. That's what you're going to do is you're going to give the formative assessment to the class. So they're going to watch your video. You're going to make a quiz about what you wanted them to learn about the chapter. And then you're going to ask, well, a lot of people got this question wrong. Is it because I didn't explain it very well in the video? Is it because my video was too long and they stopped watching it? It was at the end of the video and they were bored by that point. Or was it because we didn't cover it? Or it was too easy and they knew it without having to watch my video. You know, we want you to analyze it and come up with, draw some conclusions, give some statistics. You know, 20% this, 80% that. I think this is why. And then most importantly, what are you going to do about it? Are you just, oh, that's, that's really interesting. Um, you know, what is your reteaching method? What kind of ways are you going to communicate Sometimes it's, it's as simple as um, telling the whole class, like, hey, guys, you know, just make sure that we're all on the same page here, that linear means a straight line. I think some of you were confused with that. Okay, and maybe that's it. 
you know, and maybe you need to redo the lesson. I don't know. Um, you won't be able to redo the lesson or it, it, this is completely hypothetical. So you should be looking at if you were to do this again from scratch, what would you do differently? And being that it is what it is, if you could, re, you know, give another lesson to the class, what would you do if you had a second opportunity? So all that should be included in your analysis of the formative assessment for the book group video.